Yo, what's up? It's Terry B, and as you can see, I'm here in San Francisco. Again, borrowing a bike. I'm on a MASH work, steel work bike, work frame. It's a nice little bike. There's a bike check in a previous video where I check out the Tenderloin. If you wanna see it for this video, we're gonna cruise down Market Street all the way to the Embarcadero and uh, give you guys an idea of how it feels to ride down San Francisco's Market Street, which is pretty much the main thoroughfare. For anyone trying to get downtown quickly, buy a bicycle. Huge, huge wide bike lanes, as you can see. trolleys, buses, Ubers, people. We're rolling in from San Francisco's Civic Center area all the way down to the Embarcadero where I'll have a beer to cap the video. So enjoy the ride. This huge building right here on the right coming up here on 8th and Market. I used to live in this building. Well, not this building. I used to live in a building they tore down and then they built this building years ago. Maybe 15. Long time ago. It was a really shitty building I lived in. It was an old like motel, hotel kind of thing. And it had a all you can eat Chinese buffet. And on Sundays, it was always packed. To the left is Civic Center, Public Library, UN Center. Currently, San Francisco is housing, well not housing, they're allowing um, people who don't have homes, who have tents, and are kind of living outside, to uh, have residents in the street. It's fenced off. And I, I think there's like COVID protocols in there going on, trying to keep the people safe, but they're giving them a space to set up tents, which I think is a pretty nice move. Here's the old world of stereo shop where as I was when I was a kid you could buy weed right there. Are you what are you doing, sir? Are you gonna let me go? Oh thanks man. Thank you. The bus drivers here are way friendlier than they are in New York. We got Taqueria Can Cancun right here. And a big lineup to go further down market. I'm gonna give you a quick little extra credit from the last video. This is Sixth and Market. I call it the overflow of the Tenderloin. This here is, feels very much like the TL. It just crosses over market, out of boundaries. So I call it the overflow. But there's a really good Vietnamese restaurant I used to eat at called Tulon, right behind us. I'm gonna go ahead and turn around now. These girls are getting followed. They all right? Those girls are just kind of crying to themselves saying we are on the wrong side of town. I really don't think anything would happen to them. At least not when the sun's out. All right, back to Market Street. Oxford Street, where if you get some shoes, there's the Crazy Horse Gentleman's Club, as well as the Warfield. I forget the last show I've seen at the Warfield. I don't quite remember. Coming up on 5th and Market, Powell, where you can catch a trolley. Trolley. 
Get out of the way, bus. The Bible says that it's not even done stories. It's done that way. The Bible says that you are not a good person. Because the Bible also says, all have sinned and fallen short. The bus is ruining my view of Marcus Street. This bike has really good brakes. <laughs> I wasn't even going that fast. I was sitting on the seat and I still skidded. <laughs> Shout out to Paul. Got the Paul levers and the Paul cannies on here. Or V-brakes, mini motos. Of, and you bite the hand that feeds you. A lot of God talk out here. Praying on the weak-minded. That's just my opinion. If you're a religious person, I am sorry, don't take offense to what I just said. Don't do it, sir. I'm not gonna lie, it feels a little more lively than the last time I was here. It might be because of, be because of the weather. It's like 10 degrees warmer than it was last time I was here. Coming up where I went to a lot of school, a lot of classes for college, Academy of Art, most of my uh, <coughs> campus classes were over here on 2nd, New Montgomery. Not 2nd, but New Montgomery. <laughs> it's over here to the right. To the left is one post. Back in the day, all the Bike messengers used to hang. They all hang at the clock tower now. The Embarcadero, where we're headed. Can you cut? Can't cut this. Oh, we got this one though. Right here. Bump, 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 bump. Not even a honk was heard. Here's the old Hobart building. I used to have work in there. We had a office and I used to work for the production company years ago, back in 2011, 2012. My God, that's 10 years ago now. Jesus. Davis, Drum Street, where I had my first job in San Francisco at a coffee shop, which I hated. Over here on Drum. Tried to take a job while I was in college. It didn't work out too well for me. It wasn't enough money for my time. I was wasting so much time working. I had no time to do school or live my life. It was not cool. Damn, this bus is going for it, huh? Look at her. Taking the lane. This guy. What are you doing here? What do you want me to do? What do you want me to do? Right in front of us is the clock tower. The 
legendary flat ground hangout spot. I spent probably, if you added up all the time I spent here over the years growing up, probably gets into years years of my life. Maybe one full year. Spent a lot of time here. Alright, let's go get a beer. That's the little tour of the clock tower, I hope, or of, uh, of Market Street. I hope you enjoy. And uh, we'll see you on the next one. Bye. So we bring to a close the story of rigid control through the unceasing research and the highest quality.